Hey. <laughs> hey, Facebook. Pears. Hi, my name is Lisa Payne. This is my husband, David. <laughs> Howdy. Hi, so uh, we are taking a break. Um, came down here to, before the video, check on the orchard, and we got pears. Um, but I love pears. Reminds me of my grandfather's farm. He had pears like this every year. I couldn't wait to eat them. They weren't that great, but I just couldn't wait to eat them for some reason. But we might be running a little late because once we got down here, I'm telling on them, he left the water on all night, so I had to go inside, get the fancy boots, and it's flooded in our orchard. But I guess it's good for the trees, so I'm not gonna, as he calls it, uh, bitch too much. <laughs> yeah. We've got a small orchard that, since we moved here, we, we've uh, got two pear trees, two peach trees, uh, two apple trees, um, some blackberries, some raspberries, some no, blueberries, that's it. Yeah. But we have, something's been eating our peaches. I've talked about this before and I, I'm, I'm, I got a trap to set out for it and I'm going to catch it and, uh, but, I, but they're gone this year, but my trees will be completely full and then I'll come out and they'll have eaten every one of them. It's just seeds. And so, last year, this time, we had bagged a, a bunch of peaches. Every every night, it was we had too many. We just we carry and loads in and just cut them peaches. and put them in the freezer. Cut them and put them in the freezer. Um, the, Come to find out, that's not exactly the way to do it. Didn't and, have fruit for it. <laughs> so they were a little mushy and got a little brown. But I'm learning on those things. You didn't do any of it. Well, I was. That's because I was probably over. We, I learned to can from somebody last year, and Large. I had a, yes, I got um, to have a good time learning how to do that. So I let him do the peaches, and he just cut them up and put them in, ba in the in bags and put them in the freezer. And she tells us that's not the way to do it. Well, you, you're <laughs> supposed to add fruit fresh, and it, it keeps them. So if you ever ha have the opportunity to do so, pick up a can of fruit fresh. Yeah. So. Um, I guess lesson in this because we aren't even on our normal topic that we were going to talk about, but um, it brings me to another topic, which is take a break. You know, I um, was told by my stepson, or we were last night, that we worked too much and we had to really look at that and it is the truth. And so, um, you know, we need to back off away from work take a little break if you're not having fun at what you do what you love um, then try to do it differently and today we've been taking breaks so we were taking a break before the video to look at the orchard um, got a little more work in than planned by doing that but just yeah whether it's standing up at your desk and breathing or doing some yoga or, or your head out your ass. whatever it is get a break and you know it, it, it sucks because I used to complain about my father working all the time and not doing anything with me and then I see myself hey, doing, doing the exact same things I we and uh, you know I I don't even try to justify it in my head I just I just know it's not that I don't like it but I continue to do it anyway so we have uh, but when he brought it to our attention and, and we actually you know, we see ourselves doing it sometimes and we say we're gonna do different, but when he brings it to us, you know, we really have to take a look and mm -hmm. make some changes. And so today was day one of doing it a little bit differently and, and trying to, um, you, you know, so, so you say it's every aspect of your life. If, if you're not healthy in, in, in your family life or your work life or whatever, uh, or your, or your uh, eating habits, you know, it's going to throw off every other aspect of your life. So we have to we have to remind ourselves to to take inventory all the time. Take a look, see what we're doing, and um, yeah, inventory those things. And that's the first step of really you know admitting that you got a problem and then doing something about it. So 
um, yeah, day one with admitting we have a problem <laughs> with working too much and too hard sometimes. And um, today we've taken a break and we've had a good time and we're still working too. So um, that's all we got today. Thanks guys. Hey, if you all get anything from our videos, please like, share, comment and pull and, your head out of your and ass. And shoot us a personal message. And I've had a couple in the last couple of weeks um, of suggestions and I love that. So yeah, if you have do. any suggestions or um, things that you'd like for us to talk about or see or do or whatever, let us know. That's fun. I appreciate y'all doing that. Thanks guys. Damn the torpedo.